What's up, guys? This is Acid Roots. I've got the new Moto Grader album, which is Desolation, that just came out today. So with that, this is their first album in 14 years, which is quite a while. We've had a couple new presidents since then in the United States, and you know most careers would be tarnished by this point. I suppose in June of 2003 was the last time he dropped something. So obviously I'm glad for the fact that they return. I've been anticipating this since about this time last year. And the thing about it was, was they were actually supposed to drop like in the first half of this year. But I think this the little bit of delays and whatnot kind of caused it to get pushed back. But for a minute there, I almost thought that this album was not going to come out was kind of the thing i was thinking you know they were just bullshitting us because you know they said it was going to drop last fall and they said it was going to drop in the winter and then they said it was going to drop in the spring and then you know about may or so it was just kind of unspecified so we really had to kind of pay attention and keep active with figuring out when it was going to come out but you know between that and the fact that they didn't drop for 14 years it's easy to assume that maybe they wouldn't have put out the project but they did, and if you need more Moto Grader besides these two albums, they also dropped an EP in 2009. And some of the stuff that they were trying to do was Ivan Moody, which was their vocalist. He left, and I think he's like in Avenged Sevenfold or Five Finger Death Punch, one of those bands. I know them, but I don't know them as well. I'm going to get into them more. But he was for the first album, and then they went through some lineup changes and disbanded in 05 they they just had a bunch of mess going on i think they continued to perform but you know really it was it was just sketchiness that's the main thing about the way that they were going around well i'm glad that they managed to stay afloat and kind of kept good band members in tow because the new guy is called legion and he does a fair job i think really you know from what I remember of Suffocate, it's been a little while since I listened to it, but that one was actually a pretty, you know, fierce song. And then I think Down was another one. So the three singles off of the first album, you know, they stand, but I'm glad. You know, the thing is, is they actually released three videos for the Desolation album. So Portrait of Decay, Parasite, and Dorian are all mosh songs, right? Right off the bat, when you go to a show, there's there's pretty good chance that there's these are going to be some you know go nuts songs, and you know I'm I'm glad for that. You know we definitely needed songs, especially you know they needed to update their library. I don't know what songs they were performing for the past dozen years, but that it's good that all the songs they released videos to have good feelings to them and furthermore there's actually more songs like that they actually do sneak some almost post grunge in there songs like bleeding through and shat you know misanthropical and shadows were a couple of those but you know there were actually you know out of 11 songs i did wind up liking a, a tad more than half the album so yeah so really you know what what's on spotify at the moment the most popular song is dorian and i think you know any of the singles that you want to try out that's the the thing to start with but if you're actually thinking about purchasing the album it's good to go through it and that's easy enough to do i mean i i know the songs that i would listen to and get hyped to and you know hang out in the backyard too and these sorts of things it's it's in good fun so i'm gonna start listing some of those so Parasite, Dorian, Victim, Paragon, Misanthropical, Portrait of Dele or Decay, Locust, and Rise. You know, that's eight. You know, eight out of 11. That's pretty fucking good. So um, spe Locust and Paragon especially are a couple more songs to really get crunk to. And I felt like Victim could also do that. Misanthropical is a nice change of pace. Is something that I think Avenged Sevenfold kind of does in some of these type bands. Really, I just can't think of many. I think, you know, Godsmack has done it. Not every song is just, you know, destroy things and break stuff. You know, there's actually other things to do. Shadows kind of does it, but I didn't think it pulled it off as well. 
and there might have been like one other song. I didn't like Daggers because, well, I just didn't like that one. And really the only other song was Bleeding Through. So, you know, 8 out of 11 is really not too much to complain about. But, so I'm going to give this album a, a 9, basically. I should, you know, that, that's solid enough. But, you know, the main problem why I didn't give it a 10 is just because the singles didn't chart. I really think that we could use this band coming back. I mean, there's enough room on the rock charts. You know, we've got bands like Skillet, which, you know, don't feel as much like hard rock. And, you know, Green Day and some of the rest of these groups are pushing out full-blown metal bands. I know that there's a variety of tastes going on, but, uh, you know, when you look at some of this, it shouldn't only be like five metal songs in the top 30. So that's kind of the thing is there's a lot of bands vouching for it. And this group, this is one of the ones that is kind of left high and dry. So this, this is a thumbs down in that department, but, you know, getting a nine, this is definitely a secret album that you're going to want to mess with. So social score, I'll give like a seven. It did have three videos, three singles, and they're all kick ass. But I think, you know, we got to, Make sure that they, these guys are widely more popular. So beyond that, you know, they just dropped this album today. There's really not too much else. So fuck with it.